Welcome to Hong Kong, dear wine lovers. It is probably one of the greatest places in the world and I must admit, one of my favorite spots. It is tax-free on wine since 2008, meaning that Hong Kong is the Asian wine hub. And as it was the 10th year anniversary of the Hong Kong Wine and Dine Festival, it was a good excuse for us to come and give you a little update of the situation in company of some of the top wine professionals. Let's go. of starting the day in Hong Kong, eating dim sum for breakfast. This one is shrimp dumpling, this one is a beef dumpling with mint and walnut, and this one, my favorite, is a shrimp with rice. Let's try one. Mm. So good. Hong Kong is such a vibrant, exciting, place to live and it's one of the only places in the world where you can hike in the morning, go to a fish market and a Gucci opening that evening with Lafitte. It's one of the easiest places in the world to start a business um, and you just see so many people from all over the world coming here and having the opportunity to start new business, bringing their vibrancy um, from all these different cultures to this place. In 2008, when the Hong Kong government removed wine duty, they sought to position Hong Kong as the fine wine hub of Asia. And in fact, that has been achieved, but we're not only the fine wine hub, I would say we're the wine hub. Hong Kong very quickly became a global platform for wine. Uh, in 2008 is when they abolished the tax. Um, it, it helped stimulate the economy in a very difficult time. You know, a lot of other countries are going through a financial crisis, but Hong Kong had this you know, magic trick that they pulled out and stimulated the economy you know, overnight with, with the wine industry. But now it, it's more about understanding what quality is. Uh, people are, are becoming more sophisticated as well as more wealthy so they can make better choices. Hong Kong is a market that goes at uh, 300 km per hour, so it's uh, very intense. What excites me the most in Hong Kong is, is the diversity of the products that we see on the market. I've had sommeliers that have worked for me for six months here in Hong Kong, and, and if they compare their six months in Hong Kong against their maybe 10 years in England or 10 years in, in Europe, they probably tested more fine wines here in six months' time than 10 years' experience in Europe. And that is something that is, uh, you can't see elsewhere, I think, in the world. What's really striking about the way the, the wine market in Hong Kong is evolving is the, uh, the, the thirst for knowledge from the people. Education here is, is a big topic. Most of the people you meet, they take wine classes. And you meet people here who know a lot. This is not a place where we produce wine. This is just a place where we import wine. But the level of knowledge considering this is amazing. And also because of this, because this is not a place where you're going to focus only on wine origin. You will have wine origins from all over the world and people very open-minded to taste them. Getting into trends like natural wine, um, orange wine, these sorts of things. I really do think it's somewhere where there is a great opportunity for any new wine to try and make inroads. We didn't really have a lot of wine bars and certainly not very exciting ones in 2008. Um, and increasingly we have a lot of places, more and more natural wine bars. Um, so all these sort of inventive models for making wine accessible to a broader range of people. The Wine and Dine Festival has been a really important opportunity for Hong Kong to showcase its commitment to wine, but more importantly, to reach a consumer base for wine in an atmosphere that makes wine tasting fun, exciting, an adventure that also includes cuisine. It's a fantastic opportunity to try wine, to meet a lot of distributors, to meet new people, uh, to be confronted to a lot of wine that you've not been able to taste before. The increasing diversity of the booths 
that are here. So there's now Croatia, Russia, some sort of increasingly exotic countries getting involved. Just shows how uh, Hong Kong people are becoming more open-minded to a range of origins. Hope you enjoyed the highlights from our Asian Wine Express, guys, and it makes you want to come to Hong Kong. On my side tonight, I'm going to celebrate the festival with friends. Cheers, and see you soon for new episodes.